my beautiful cancers and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium and prophetess. So if you are new here, my loves, welcome in. We are a high vibe tribe and a pillar of light channel, okay? Safe space for light workers, star seeds, empaths, all the things, right? So anyways, welcome in my loves and those of you guys returning, welcome back. I don't know why the lighting is like kind of just off today. It's a little funky. Let me see really quick. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Sometimes the lighting just gets weird. So anyways, um, welcome in, my loves. Okay, so you guys saw the title. You guys already know why you're here. Um, I don't know yet what the message is going to say. Um, and by the way, my loves, happy solstice. Happy um, summer solstice if you're in the northern hemisphere. Um, where That's where I'm at. And happy winter solstice for those of you guys in the southern hemisphere. Um... I'm hearing ch -ch -ch changes, new paths, new directions. Um, I'm hearing the name like Jimmy, Jim, Jonathan, John. Okay. Um, it says, oh, sunny day, card number 40. Maybe this is your age. Maybe, you know, maybe this year, uh, you know, cancer season. If you're a cancer son, you know, maybe you're turning 40. You know, maybe you're having a big 4-0, right? So I will be celebrating mine in just a couple years. Um, I will be 39 this year in October. Um, so I'm right there with you guys. Uh, if that is the case, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing hugging 40. I'm hugging 40, okay? So, you know, maybe you're turning, you know, 38, 39, something like that too. Um, sorry, guys. Hold on one second. I'm going to have to try to maneuver this. The lighting is just a little dark. Okay. It's a little better. It's a little better. Um, okay. So anyways, so oh sunny day. All right. So she's sitting on top of a mushroom. There's ladybugs in this picture. Ladybugs speak of, you know, wishes coming true. It could mean birth of a daughter. Um, I am getting that pregnancy energy. I'm seeing the pregnant empress. You know what I mean? So there could be uh, pregnancy or, you know, it, it, what I'm also getting is the birth of new cycles. Okay. Um, you're feeling very, you're feeling the interconnectedness of everybody and everything. Okay. It, it's like very heavy spiritual enlightenment is what is what I'm getting. You guys have been going through. Um, she's got like a little umbrella, right? And she's kind of like protecting, shading herself from the sun. I feel like that. I feel like with this oh sunny day, it's like the energy coming into your life at this time or around you, it's big sunshine energy. So it's like, you know, again, a lot of enlightenment. It's it's act, act, absolute happiness, joy, bliss, contentment. You found you found like happiness with self. She's by herself. She's connecting to nature. She's, you know, all the things, right? I'm hearing the word solidarity. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come out. So there's happiness here. There's something coming in. And then we have flowers, the red garden. Yeah, this is about romance. This is about romance. Look at all of the, you know, the blooming, blossoming, very colorful, you know, energy. It's very, you know, for me, it could be, I don't know, it just reminds me of like tropical gardens or, you know, something like that. Plentiful. You've been watering your gardens and there's so much like blooming, blossoming, wish fulfillment energy here. Okay, I for some reason I'm hearing Venus, like Venus energy, Venusian energy. So that could be Libra or Taurus energy for some of you guys. Okay, and then home in the sky is on the bottom of the deck. It's like you're connecting more to your to your lineage, to your ancestry, to your star lineage. You know, I just saw 444 when I looked up and said that too. So I don't know exactly what it is, but um and then Lorelei. 
card number 31. Yeah, so as I'm speaking of like the lineage and, and then the sea witch, so this is very much for me, you know, it's, um, and then the art of seduction. Um, yeah, so there's something here about, okay, first of all, I'm getting like very, you know, heavy, um, soulmate energy. Okay. It's like the one, the one, and then I heard the one that got away. So I don't know, but this is like the one that's coming into your life. Maybe it's a past person. Maybe it's a new person. I don't know, but it's, it's definitely with all this red energy. That's why I heard Venus. And then literally like sh right after, you know, that it's like the loving love energy shows up. Um, but I felt romance off of this, you know, uh, red garden energy here. A lot of root chakra stuff. Okay, so there's a lot of healing that you guys have been doing in the root chakra area. You guys have been conquering your fears. You know what I mean? It's no, it's no longer like you're in a survival mode. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're quite literally like flourishing and and living more in a leisure energy, happiness. You know, doing what feels good for you, self love. You know, all of that. Okay, and when you've been doing that, and since you've been doing that, now you're attracting in that which is you. Okay, so you're you're attracting in a mirror reflection manifestation of what you are, what you're vibrating at, and and all the things. Okay. Um, you're very seductive, very seductive. This is queen of wands type of energy all over the place. Empress energy too, but queen of wands energy. It's like, you're very creative. You're, you're, um, okay. Don't like, I, I just channel the stuff that I hear and it comes through. Right. But I'm, I'm hearing you get their juices flowing. Okay. So there is someone here that is so, they feel seduced by you. They see you or when they meet you, they're just like, oh my gosh, it is. I'm hearing love at first sight. It's love at first sight. But anyways, going back to Lorelei and the sea witch. All right. These are both like, you know, obviously ocean watery energies. It's very much Cancerian energy, but I was talking about your lineages and star family and stuff like that. Right. So you could be, you know, maybe uh, you maybe you connect to uh, Mentonka or, um, you know, maybe you're a Syrian um, star seed, right? Um, you connect to Atlantis, the land of moon, Lomeria, um, you know, dolphins, uh, the aquatic life like that, the uh, dolphins and whales, the mermaids, mer people, you know, Neptune, Poseidon, you know, these kinds of things. So I get that very heavily here with you guys. Um, you could also be seeing sailboats, like different, you know, maybe car cards being pulled in a reading where there's like a sailboat, right? Or someone sailing away. Um, but I'm being very drawn to the sailboat here. And for me, what this means is like your ships are coming in the things, you know, you've set sail in life and now these things are starting to, um, come into your, to your, to your Harbor, if you will. Okay. Your own personal, you know, divine, uh, Harbor. For some of you guys with the sea witch, maybe some of you guys are getting more into your mystical, magical side. Maybe you are practicing, um, you know, uh, earth magic and, 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 you know, elemental magic and just different things like that. Right. Um, you know, I am a white witch, right? I am not down with the manipulation of energy or manipulating other people's free will and, you know, things of that nature, which for me is very dark black magic. It's very, you know, it's just not good to, 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 to dabble with, in my opinion, right? It's going against the laws of the universe, if you ask me, right? I mean, it's not even if you ask me, it's just the facts. It's a manipulation. So I don't know why that's coming through so strongly, but maybe, you know, maybe you encountered someone that maybe you felt was maybe, you know, doing magic on you or you had an ex or, or a friend or someone, you know, where you just, I don't know, but there's something about that. Okay. Um, and what your guides are, what's coming through with that. So if that's something that's been on your mind or, you know, you're, you know, first of all, what the, what the message is, is stop giving it power. Don't give it, don't feed it power. Don't feed it any kind of energy, meaning worrying about it, thinking about it. Okay. Second of all, your, your guides are just going, you're good. You're safe. You're protected. Okay. So something, whatever, however that correlates to you. Okay. And then the home in the sky, this is, it, it is that it means you guys are from, you know, you're, you're living here on earth, but you're not of, of earth. You know what I mean? Your home is in, in the sky. It's in the cosmos. It's, you know, <laughs> far, far away is what it was, what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, so anyways, let's get some tarot. Let's go ahead and see what wants to come out. Um, we will channel a little bit about that love energy too. That's coming in for you guys. Um, all right. 
<laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> the, my beautiful cancers. Happy birthday, my loves. Okay. Um, a lot of vibrancy in these cards too, like the colors, you know. Um, this is not a deck that I use very often, um, but I felt very called to pick it up and use it for your guys' uh, reading. Um, so the vibrant energy, is that's what I mean. It's like vibrancy entering your life. You're very vibrant. People view you as vibrant. As I stop shuffling, Wheel of Fortune's on the bottom of the deck, and it's full of vibrant colors. You know what I mean? So there's vibrancy around you people view you as vibrant as lively as you know i'm hearing like a, a ball of, of light a ball of sunshine you know what i mean a ray of light um the wheel of fortune does speak of like things turning in your favor okay so whatever that is for you i don't know um definitely something about love romance blossoming blooming happiness okay good fortune surrounds you at this time cancer I'm also getting for some of you guys, you're going to be discovered. I don't know what you do or what that entails, but I am getting like, you're, you're going to be discovered. Okay. So that's going to be at least for one of you, a few of you, a group of you, I don't know. Right. But there's something here with that. Okay. Nine of pentacles. You're very independent and there's things that you've been manifesting here with the magician. Um, I feel like what this is and the message that I'm receiving is I feel that this is someone here that is, you know, this is the person that you're meeting. This is the person that is coming into your life for love, okay? This is someone who's been manifesting you. If it's a past person, they've been manifesting reunion with you to reunite, right? Reconcile. Um, but if it's a new person, it's just they've been manifesting you. They've been dreaming up the most perfect kind of partner, um, someone very, you know, good looking, obviously, you know, you gotta have the looks, right? Um, very attractive, someone who is, you know, classy, classic, um, original, someone who is very independent, you know, things of that nature, okay? Um, abundant on their own, you know, all of that, okay? Um, so I feel like this is destiny aligning with the will of fortune. It's, you guys have both been manifesting each other and that's why we have the art of seduction. But this is also about you wielding power right now, Cancer. And then Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is a big breakthrough. It's a new beginning. It's it's like divine truth and, and clarity moments and all these things coming in and, and, and things lining up for you. Archangel Michael energy as well. I'm getting like very honest, open conversations. So this is someone who is... Um, they're not afraid to speak what they feel and say. They don't beat around the bush. They don't tiptoe around things. They just say it how it is. You know what I mean? And they're not afraid to be, you know, open emotionally. Okay. Five of Cups was after the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I'm just getting that you're going to be having a lot of good conversations here. It's like... Again, it's just, there's no, you know, there's no beating around the bush. It's very much like, you know, this is, you know, this is how I feel towards you. How do you feel towards me? This is what I would like. This is what I, you know, would love to see us, go, you know, this is where I would love to see us go, or I would like to see this headed in this direction. You know, it's something like that. This person is very, as matter of fact, and very upfront. Okay, I'm getting for some of you guys watching this, right? Um, there's a, this is a very powerful masculine. This is someone who's very powerful. I feel you are too. Um, but what I'm getting with that is like, it's a very powerful masculine, meaning like they've had, you know, they're an old soul. They've, you know, they can tap in, you know, if they can tap into their soul's wisdom um, and soul memory, they would be like, whoa, okay, this is like someone who's a powerful, you know, magician, you know what I mean? High priest energy like that, okay? So you guys are this like divine couple. It is it is a divine union. Meeting your match. Meeting the one. Okay. 
clarify meeting the one for Cancer. It's the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Five of Swords, bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, what I'm getting from this is, um, this is someone who will do what it takes to be with you. I don't know what that means necessarily, but they'll do what it takes to be with you. Okay, like, and, and typically, like, I think this is someone who does, like, with the Five of Swords, I think this is a sabotage energy. I think this is someone that typically does sabotage. They, like, you know, they're just not, they're more out for themselves, you know, and it's not, you know, they could be a little maybe selfish in the past, but I think it's just more so, like, I got to look out for me. I'm not, like, trying to fall in love. Like, you know, I, I don't maybe trust love. You know, I'm kind of getting all of that. Two of Wands is setting the intention. And look at all the ships. You can see the ships back there. The ships are coming in. That's what I said earlier. I was redrawn to that, you know, little sailboat. Okay. So the intention has been set by both you and this person. You guys have both been manifesting union with one another. This is your... You know, this is your person. This is that kind of energy, okay? Queen of Pentacles is someone who, you know, is, again, she knows her worth and her value. But this is someone who is in a, you know, this is very grounded energy, right? It's it's rooted down, you know what I mean? Um, very stable. So for me, this is indicating, you know, with the rainbow, it's like serendipity and destiny and all that, right? And then you can see here what looks like, to me, the peony bushes, okay? Like peonies are my favorite flower. Um, and it's like all around her is this, you know, peony season is around this time. It's around like, you know, just depending on where you are, but typically primarily it's around June, you know, like end of May, June and, you know, going into July and stuff, but June is a big, right. And we're in June right now. Um, so there's something with that where it's blooming, blossoming, it's getting, you know, full, it's like your life is full of blossoming energy. It's very fertile energy, okay? Um, a very prosperous energy, right? Um, but this is also, you've received the Ace of Pentacles. You, you receive this big solid offer. You receive commitment. You receive, you know, um, the, the job of your dreams, you know? It's like, it's all of that, okay? She is, she is so comfortable in her life. Okay, she's not hurting for nothing. She's not worried about anything. She's very comfortable in her life. And she's very fulfilled in that regard. Okay, so that's what I get. I get this fulfilling, committed energy here. Big breakthrough, big, big kind of like destined energies here. Again, something that you and this person have been both manifesting, okay? Um... All right, so let me just go ahead and get, um, whoop. let me just go ahead and clarify with a couple of the Island Time Wellness Oracle cards. So if this is your message, my love, claim the energy is yours, of course. Um, thank you for liking, um, for supporting the channel, for commenting. I love reading the comments and, you know, just hearing how it resonates or, or whatever, you know. So just thank you so much. Um, if you guys want to book with me, you can find all information in the description box below. Um, I think I am going to extend this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig into uh, more of like who this person is. Um, separation is showing and photograph which is about memories and nostalgia. Cause I, you know, I know for, 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 you know, some of you guys, this is new love. It is a new person, but for some of you guys, it is a new energy of an old person. It's like someone who's, you know, learned some lessons. They've, you know, gone through some stuff, you know, I don't know what it would be, you know, but I definitely feel it. Um, so we'll dig into all of that. We'll get more energy on that and more of like what their intention is and how they feel and, you know, just that kind of stuff. Okay. So if you feel guided to that, you can find the link below also in the description box. Um, 
and for a limited time you guys um, I am offering my private one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons and spiritual mentorship okay um, I promised you guys after a year I would bring it back in June and I did um, so there's still openings if you feel called to learn the tarot to become a reader um, and to work with someone and if you don't feel like you know guided to specifically learn the tarot and to read and stuff then we can do spiritual mentoring it's the same price um but we we tap into a lot of stuff and i'm an activator i'm someone who that's a part of my light work it's a part of my gifts is helping people to activate their spirituality um it's i just activate people right so um you know you're gonna go through stuff you need to do work on your own and all that right but anyways i hone in more in on you expanding your spirituals gifts your channeling you know opening up your third eye more and helping you trust your intuition and things of that nature um but anyways there's a whole i wrote a whole thing out you can get all the deets and everything down below okay all right so the dragonfly be light-hearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal yeah so you're gonna be illum things are gonna be illuminated to you you might be seeing dragonflies right now um you know they are common more common in like the summer energy and we just you know have the summer solstice um but you guys know when they're specific for you when it's like your guides or spirit or you know whatever uh you know i have dragonflies where i live too and but like i'll be out on my walks and like i'll see a very specific colored dragonfly and then it like buzzes around me and just dances around me and swirls around me and comes back and if, if it does that, then I know it's for sure. And I can feel it, right? You feel it. So pay attention to that. Also, ladybugs. So dragonflies, ladybugs, um, red flowers, any red flower, peonies, um, specifically pink peonies. Um, so if you see stuff like a picture of a pink peony or something on Instagram or something like that, that's a sink. That's a sign. This is coming. This is happening, okay? Um, all right. So yeah. So anyway, so you're going to be, things are coming to light and then you have love. It's unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. It's all that. I learned to love myself. And when I learned to love myself and, you know, um, to really, you know, hold myself in, you know, a, a higher regard and have self-respect, that is what I started attracting in. It was a partner who embodies that and will treat me in that regard because that is what I demand. I know my worth and my value, right? So anyways, loves, this is what I have for you. I will see you guys over in the extended. Um, again, everything is down below. Also, if you wanna book a reading with me, general or past life, it's all down below, okay? So again, happy birthday, my loves. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope that this reading resonates with you and I just hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah. Bye, my loves.